Hey everybody, it's Mr. Wagstaff. Uh, not wearing a shirt and tie today. I'm at the AP Summer Institute for AP Psychology. Uh, so I'm not all dressed up and wasn't expecting to be on camera today. However, I've been asked to uh, walk through how we are going to, or how I am going to take a lot of the existing research that we can find and turn it into the format used for the new AAQs and the EBQs and the multiple choice uh, using ChatGPT and the, the benefits that can provide. Uh, in this video, I'm going to specifically walk through how to create an AAQ in the format that they want so that we can use the existing questions in the CED to answer those. All right, so that's a lot of talk. Let's go ahead and get started here. So the first thing that I am going to do is I'm going to find research. All right, so I'm going to find research specifically uh, by going to uh, Consensus AI. Uh, all right, so this is a, a search engine to find uh, research. So I'm going to uh, specifically do it on uh, find some uh, research that uh, examines learning styles or the use of learning styles. And when I do that, I will, uh, we're not going to do that right now. Uh, there is all of these that pop up here. Uh, if you click on them and you go to full text, uh, you will have an option here, somewhere around here, uh, to download it as a PDF. Uh, uh, different ones have different paywalls and all that, but you want to get it in a PDF for the next step. So the next step is once you have your, your learning styles, let me back out of this because I've already pre-found these, uh, you are going to go, you don't need that just here yet, you're going to go to ChatGPT. Now, you can use ChatGPT, um, and this is the 4.0, it changes so often, so uh, you know, by the time you're watching this, it could be 10 different versions have come out. Uh, I do have the premium version of ChatGPT, which is $20 a month. Uh, for me, that is worth it. Uh, however, you can do it for free, but it limits the amount of times that, that, that you can upload it. So uh, you can do like one of these a day, I believe, if you're on the free version. So it'll work just like this. You just limited how many times you can do it. The premium version, you can do it unlimited. So what I am going to do is I am going to use the existing format for ChatGPT, sorry, the existing format for uh, the way research is designed for uh, AP Psychology. So all the research articles that will be provided on the exam for ChatGPT, man, I'm getting my words mixed up. Everything's gonna be uh, provided on the AP exam will be in this format, introduction, participants, methods, results, uh, and then the APA citation at the bottom. Uh, you can probably make this pretty easily, but I went ahead and uh, have this saved uh, on my computer because I'm going to use this to tell ChatGPT how I want it to format those articles that we put in PDF and, and then we downloaded. All right, and I'm gonna walk you through how to do that. So uh, once you have a PDF and, and you have those two documents saved on your computer, all right, uh, that are separate from the internet, what I do is I go here, uh, click on the little, uh, paper clip I go upload from computer all right so what I want to do and I got my little taskbar here in a way that y'all can't see that um, uh, I'm going to start out with this right here I know it's, it's not named right but that is one of the articles dealing with learning styles that I downloaded from uh, consensus AI then I'm going to upload the AAQ format, AAQ a source template is, is what it is called. And here's what I want to ask ChatGPT to do. Uh, I'm going to say, uh, take the first document and format it to fit into the uh, AAQ source template. All right, now I want to be very clear that I do not make this a PDF to download. 
because uh, it'll try to do that and it never works out right for me. Do not make this uh, a PDF that I have to download. Uh, also, uh, uh, make sure each section is in paragraph form. If you don't do that, it's going to try to put it in bullet points. That's not great for anybody. Uh, not, not for this because AP uh, uh, do not make this a PDF that I have to download. Sorry, I know I'm all over the place uh, that I have to download. Uh, you want it in paragraph form because if not, it's going to put it in bullet points. That's not how AP exam is going to, to form out. So make sure this is in the second paragraph form. Uh, give me your results below. We'll see how, how this works out right here. Uh, doesn't necessarily mean that this is going to work great the first time and that's fine, but you've got to make sure the first time it does it right because after that it makes it super easy to do. Um, so here's the introduction. Here's the participants. Here's the methods. Here's the results. And then it will cite your sources at the bottom. Now, ChatGPT is just a tool. All right, you need to, if you're using this, you need to go through, read the original article. You need to read this and make sure that the information is accurate. GPT's only job is to make you happy by giving you the words that you want. So it gave you words, this looks great. You are responsible for verifying this, all right? You can't blame it on ChatGPT. Do not give your kids something that is factually incorrect uh, and then blame it on ChatGPT because that's the one thing we can't let the kids do. We gotta be better than that. So. Uh, this is how uh, you create the AAQ. So this is the document, the article analysis question AAQ that you will give to your students and then they will use the, uh, uh, the consistent format created by College Board and AP Psychology to go through and uh, uh, analyze this uh, the way they want to, whether it's experiment correlation uh, and all that. All right, so that's the end of this video. I'm going to do another video on how to uh, create the evidence-based questions, the EBQ. Um, and by doing that, uh, it is kind of an extension of how to do the AAQ. So thank you for watching. Uh, hope this was helpful.